hi all so today in this video we'll be learning how we can hover over one element and from that uh, let's say uh, we have an element where if you hover over it it will display some other options so for example i can take this website and here if i hover over it you can see there is these are the header menu options and uh, so if you hover over it you can see this many drop down even if you go to amazon.com or amazon.in So here also, uh, I think it's there. Yeah, you can see if I hover over on the prime, it displays these options, right? And uh, even here, it is not displaying. Here also is not displaying. Here also it's displayed. So this is called hover over. So if I hover over the sign in options, it shows me this dialog box or these sections. Okay. So uh, for for now we are taking this site. Okay. So let me copy the URL and uh, first let's create one file and here i'm naming it as test underscore uh, hover over okay and hitting enter and just add it and let's take something from here i mean just i'm copying the template so this would be enough. Uh, no, this one. Okay, and let's close these options because we do not need it. Yeah, and let's copy the URL. Okay, so we just uh, we just navigated to this page. Now we need to hover over it. Right. So first, take the locator. So let's um, let's hover over this element so let's make it at free books or any header menu okay just header menu I'm giving the name of this locator and uh, I'm writing page dot locator and here we need to create the locator so let's inspect it so we can see it's the free book and if I click on it, it is free book, right? So, uh, how do we get this option? So, you can try. Um, okay, so we can try this. I can take the ID, although this looks like a dynamic ID but uh, for now we can take it and we can write like this so this one id and it should be like has id okay so because we are making it as a as a id so in css we know like you have to you have to add one has uh, to make it ID so we just created it like this and next comma uh, we'll be using like has text right we have already seen this in the in the previous video in one of our previous video okay you can just check the I think the last one we have tried like where we the video description was like selecting element based on other element so in that we have used this has text option and here we can write free ebooks okay so this is the locator and uh, we can just print it as well just for checking whether it's correctly extracting the correctly locating the element or not so header menu lot text content okay and finally we'll be hovering over it so header menu dot hover okay so we just hover over it and let's give some weight so time dot not time we need to give uh, page dot wait for timeout and let's give you a wait for 3000 milliseconds okay so that's enough for this I mean uh, that's 
I mean, for this operation, whatever we are trying to do here, just we have to have word over it as of now. So this line of code is enough and let's run it. So to run it, we know we need to use pytest command because we are using pytest and uh, we can write like test as headed and here uh, we can pass the folder structure and test um, test So here let's rename it test hover example. Okay, so test hover. So test hover dot pi, and uh, we can give some double colon and the method name. But for now it is not required because we have just one uh, method. So just run it directly, and let's see whether it's working or not. So it looks like it, yeah, it have it has taken this uh, one items. It collected one items and it's starting the browser. Okay, it started, but somehow, yeah, it was minimized. Okay, so if I just, uh, okay, so you can see it's printing all the text content. Okay, so what's the reason right so basically okay let's uh, let's print one more option like whether it's returning multiple elements or not so we can check it header menu dot count so this will return the number of locators it is returning so if there is four element it's pointing means if there is a four matching node then it will count as four so let's do that yeah now browser is getting launched and we can see it's actually hovering over it okay so the hovering over thing is working but somehow this locator is uh, returning it's returning actually one single element only you can see one is printed so it is not returning uh, multiple elements okay and uh, you can see it's also printing the free ebooks but here it's printing the other names as well so what's the reason for that right so let's check it out from this drop down so we are pointing to this one right so you can see so basically what is happening it's printing this all these options as well because if you hover over it after this these are also getting displayed right and these are when we are not hovering over it it is actually hidden it's there in the DOM but it's hidden so once we hover over it you can see it right and the DOM is getting updated and because of that this many options are getting coming in the DOM now okay so you can now hover over it I mean so basically you can see here uh, okay so here it is now if I hover over it you can see uh, it's it's coming now right these options are coming now you can see the DOM is getting updated I mean even now it's you can see here the display colon block and once I hover you can see display colon equals to none right now when I hover over it now it's coming so uh, we need to pause this uh, uh, this option so there is options called F12 I believe no F8 No, so I think function if it uh, function if nine. No, I mean we need to pause it. So basically, what we can do, uh, and there is one 
you can listen as well Uh, there is options to I'm trying to figure it out like how we can stop this thing um, One second how to pause okay for now leave it i mean we, i will check it uh, and i'll show you that uh, there is a way to stop this uh, exec I mean this here. I mean we can so that we can find the locator But uh, the point is like uh, you can see why it is printing these many options because this text content is actually returning the hidden elements as well So if you do not want the hidden element, then you can try the inner text so in our text and we have already made a video on it like what is the difference between text content and in our text so you can watch that video as well so but it's there, this is a very good example where we can understand why we should use in our text and why we should not use text content because text content is also returning the hidden elements which you do not need we just need to extract this free books okay that is the visible element so for that we should use in our text okay so just run it one more time Okay, uh, somehow my internet got stopped. Okay, now I can run it one more time. Okay, it's all also failing. Uh, device, so it's saying error network change. Uh, okay, let's run it. Uh, just uh, okay. I think now it should run. So global SQL is opening, and now you can see it's hovering over it. It's working fine. Now we should see the print option. Now you can see it's only printing free ebooks. Okay, so that's. Uh, that's this this text options that's visible text right it is not i mean now it is not printing these these elements because these are the hidden elements when until we are hovering over it right so okay so and once we hover over we can also uh, print these options right so let's see in the next video how we can uh, 
like uh, we can select some element like we want to select this free replanning ebooks from here and it should navigate me to this page right so that we can see in the next video okay thank you for watching please like share and subscribe